Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. I have a little impromptu recipe that I'm gonna show you because Thomas from California Balsamic has sent me some samples of his wonderful vinegars and I told him I would use them on the air and try them in a recipe. So there's so many wonderful vinegars out there. You know, I love them all. I love pretty much all the flavors, but he had one that was really unique that I haven't seen in any other company and that is a teriyaki balsamic and it specifically said there was absolutely no salt so i was intrigued because one of the biggest missings when you follow a sos free or a sophist free diet is the salt for so many people they, it's pretty easy to it's very easy not to use oil and pretty easy for most people not to use sugar but salt is a real missing and so i was really intrigued to try it and i tasted it and it was delicious i said i'm going to use it in a recipe show people how they can use it i mean i just had it over rice and steamed vegetables and it was fantastic. Um, he sent me some other flavors that were also excellent. One is called Gilroy Garlic, and if you like garlic, you will like this flavor. He sent me one called Raspberry Flame. He sent me the savory ones, because that was what I was really interested in. This, so it had some heat. One called Sweet Heat, which you can tell that I like, because look, there's already some missing in it. But today we are going to, and Eden, you're gonna love the Sweet Heat and the Raspberry Flame, but today we're gonna use the, the Teriyaki Balsamic. One of the things I thought was really cool about his product and hopefully he's watching right now so you can ask Thomas questions about the products and if you order and put in the comment box that my name Chef AJ he'll send you two free samples not full size small samples of other flavors of balsamics to try but what I like about this whoops is the plastic bottle because I travel a lot as a matter of fact I'm flying to True North tomorrow and as delicious as their food is I want my vinegars for my salads so this is going to be great because I have had glass break in my suitcase so let's get started so I'm going to make a pineapple unfried rice very similar to the recipe in my book unprocessed except I'm not going to be using any of the coconut aminos or the soy sauce it's going to be completely SOS free and a lot of you said you didn't like that I did my prep or as we chefs call them mise en place you wanted to see the whole thing so I pretty much didn't do anything except put everything Thing on the counter and I, I did open a couple bags I hope that's okay so we'll start by preheating my pan and I'm going to put it on high I'm using the pampered chef nonstick pan use the best pan you can afford I don't believe they make this one anymore and um, I'm starting with a big sweet onion and I have the worst knife skills of any chef. It was the course that I did the worst in at culinary school plus with my trigger thumb, which is acting up. I don't really, I'm, I'm just not really good. So what I'm gonna do is use this wonderful tool, which you can get for $20 and then use your coupon at Bed Bath & Beyond. And that way the onion is cut really nice and easy. So anytime you cut something round, the first thing you gotta do is just cut a little bit off. This is called the stabilizing cut because you don't wanna cut on round things. You wanna cut things that aren't shaking around. And so what I just do is I just cut it in half because you only really wanna work with flat things or you can cut yourself. And so you just cut that little end off and this goes in your scrap bag and then you can make your free vegetable broth like I showed you in a previous Weight Loss Wednesday with JL Fields. And then I just peel the outer layer off I find that I don't cry as much with the sweet onions as I do the red onions, which are actually delicious and flavorful, and I love in recipes. I, I think I'm gonna spoke too soon. It feels like I'm gonna start crying any minute. Oh no. So again, this is, oh, oh no. And I'm wearing false eyelashes today. So I'm gonna put this over here for the scrap bag. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this really cool tool, which I use for so many things. You just don't wanna over jam it because then, I've, I have seen these break and you get even slices every time of the onion. They're all the same size, all the same shape, and it's pretty easy and pretty fun. Are my false eyelashes coming off? It feels like it. I went to Sephora today. I take these wonderful classes by Samantha, and I like to learn makeup because it's fun, even though you guys say I look better without it. I like to go sometimes with and sometimes without. So that's what I'm doing while my pan is preheating. And I wish I had done this in advance because I, I'm totally crying now. Oh my goodness. If they have any questions, Eden, please feel free to ask. Um, the name of the vinegar is California Balsamic. Right, and Thomas is the owner and he makes them and he said he was gonna watch in case people had any questions. He guaranteed me that they are SOS free, sugar, oil, salt free, the vinegars. Oh my God, I'm really crying now. And he also said there are absolutely no natural flavors. I know a lot of you worry about that. So that's that. And he is in California. And maybe I'll meet him one day because he's not too far from True North where I'm going tomorrow. 
And do they get two free samples? Well, they get two free samples, but they're small samples. These are this size is three ounces, so I think he said it was 1.6 ounce, so it's not going to be a full bottle, guys. But what's nice is then you can try the flavors that maybe you were concerned about ordering. So this is getting pretty, pretty full. This is why I like doing things in advance, and I'm going to throw this in the pan now. This is called dry saute, so I'm not going to use even any water at the beginning. And what I'm going to do is, since I'm going to be using pineapple in this, oh, oh my god, my poor eyes. I know everybody has these tips for not crying with onion. You can show me. Look at my face. Oh my god. I really am crying, guys. This is brutal. Um, it just, they never seem to work for me. And I did buy those onion goggles, Jennifer Dyson, and I just couldn't get a seal. They just didn't work. So... This is why I do stuff in advance, guys. It saves time. It's almost done. But I love this little tool because it's, and you know what I love even more is buying pre-cut onions at Trader Joe's or Ralph's or Smart and Final. So there we go. One onion. You can never have too much onion. And in my opinion, any good recipe starts with an onion. Without an onion, I don't know how you make anything taste good, especially when you're doing salt free cooking. So now I have got to do the figures, the one day that I'm wearing the darkest makeup, I took what's called a smoky eye class, and this was the sultry look. So you don't really even have to necessarily move it around, you just get it started right there. And then what I'm going to do is instead of using water, if it does get a little bit sticky and it won't stick, I am going to use the pineapple juice. And I'm using a 20 ounce can of pineapple in its own juice. Please don't ask me this recipe. I mean, what I mean is, I don't mean it to be rude, but the recipe is what you're watching. I make things up as I go along. So if you want the exact measurement recipes, get my book on process, and there is a recipe for a pineapple fried rice. While that's doing that, I'm going to chop some of my other ingredients. Again, my thumb is, is it's not completely triggering, but it's not doing that well. So I'm just going to take my garlic. And I do buy convenience things like peeled garlic, especially because I have this orthopedic problem. You can't have too much ginger, in my opinion. This is organic, and so there's no reason for me to peel things when it's organic. I try to use mostly organic, at least when I'm home, but I don't worry about things like bananas or things, watermelon, that I'm not going to eat the peel. This is turmeric. Uh, it's wow. probably not traditional in, a, in a, this kind of stir fry, but it has so many health benefits and a beautiful color that I'm going to use it. And again, this is the greatest tool when your thumb is triggering or even when it's not because it's so easy to finally chop everything. If you need one, you just go to Facebook and find my friend Kurt Kohler. He does Tupperware and Van Cassie, and he'll be happy to hook you up. So there we go. And look, just in a few pulls, beautiful. I could never do that with my knife. And here I'm moving around. You can see it's starting to get nice and caramelized. I'm going to let it go since me and Eden are really going to eat this in real time because <laughs> it is lunchtime here. I'm going to um, let it get even more caramelized. And I'm only going to use what I have. This is brown rice that's truly left over. Yum. And so um, I actually put a little bit of quinoa in since Charles wasn't going to be eating unless he's allergic to quinoa. Just to bulk it up a little bit because I know you and me, we follow principles of calorie density and we eat a lot. And then I, I'm using what I have. I didn't have time to go to the store because I'm going out of town tomorrow. But I always have shredded carriage and cabbage and carrot because, again, with my hand, it's not so good this week. And uh, I'm going to add not all of it, but we'll see. I just want it to be kind of look pretty and taste crispy. And I'm not going to add this until my onion is done because I want to finish that. You don't want to really over saute garlic because it could burn. So it's starting to feel like it's sticking a little. So guess what? Just a little bit of that. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, I love when it gets nice and brown. Beautiful. And so we'll have that nice pineapple flavor. I just chose to use what I had on hand, which is the chunks. But you could probably use the crushed if that's what you prefer. That would probably, it's the same size. It would probably disperse better. But you can see you don't need any oil ever. Oil is for cars, people. You're not supposed to eat it. It is not good for human consumption. Don't let them sell you a bill of goods. It is not heart healthy. It is. It will destroy the endothelial lining. Please, if you don't understand why oil is so bad, read Prevent, or reverse, prevent and Reverse Heart Disease or watch the movie Forks Over Knives. So this is getting nice and 
Mmm, the pineapple and the onion smell absolutely. Oh, you know what would have been good in here? And I think I will. I have, actually have some. A little bit of cilantro. You keep that. Mmm. Yeah, that cilantro is good. Yum. Smells amazing. Yeah. Again, we can let this go as long as we want, and it really depends. Because you guys are watching, I'll probably stop it a little bit sooner. And again, if your pan starts to get dry or you feel it's going to stick, whether you're using stainless steel or waterless cookware, which is very good, or a non-stick. A lot of people like the scan pan or the copper chef. Any questions before I move on to the next uh, step? Nope. All right. So... Got the onion. That's pretty good. You want me to go a little longer even? It just depends how hungry you are. I'm fine with whatever. Okay. This is good. So now I'm going to add my turmeric. Wow. Is it turmeric or turmeric? Turmeric. I, know, I get that word mixed up a lot. Like phylacoids and bicoloids. So we're going to add that. You know, we made this. I teach hands-on cooking classes as well as demonstration classes at a school in, oh, smell that, in uh, Sherman Oaks called Boulevard Kitchen. Very nice, lovely space. And we made this. I called it Cheater's Fried Rice. We made this in the class on Saturday. And the girl that got this recipe says, I'm a terrible cook. I'm a terrible cook. And it was one of the most delicious things I ever ate. Look at that bright, beautiful color that the turmeric made it. And that's good. And now I'm going to add my vegetables. And you can add whatever you want. I mean, I would have loved to have broccoli in here, but I just didn't have any broccoli. So I'm not having broccoli. Okay. Let's add a little cabbage. So you're probably wondering, well, where's the teriyaki vinegar going to go? Well, it's going to go in the end instead of soy sauce. I don't want to add it now. Look at how pretty that is. Mm. Orange and purple and yellow. And I haven't even added the pineapple or the rice. So we want to keep the vegetables nice and crisp so I don't want to overcook them. And again, anytime my pan tries to dry out, I'll just add a little bit of that pineapple juice. If I wasn't doing a pineapple one, I would just add water or no sodium vegetable broth. A little bit more cabbage, because you can't have too much purple. All right, right. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this looks so good. Pam, I bet you're sorry you're not here. Pam's been helping me sometimes um, with other projects, and she loves when I go live, because then she gets to add it. That looks like about, oh, broccoli would, snow peas would have been great in here if I had them, or even regular peas. A little bit more. I love purple, and I love purple cabbage. Can't have too much. All right. Oh, if you hear that little beep, guys, it's because my zucchini's ready. I'll show that to you. I was making some zucchini in the air fryer. So now I'm not going to even measure. I'm just going to add all the rice that I have, which has a little quinoa in it, because I'm going out of town tomorrow, and that's what I like to do is use everything. I'm going to add all this wa not water, all this liquid now, because it probably needs a little bit of liquid. Stir it up. Mmm. OMG. If there was smell of vision, you guys would go nuts here. And OMG. I hope I have enough uh, vegetables. It's not really a vegetable dish, it's really a rice dish with vegetables as the accent. A little green in here would be nice. So let's get the pineapple in here because what would pineapple unfried rice be without pineapple? It would be something else and now how about some of that wonderful balsamic I promised you so mm. I usually don't measure but I know you guys are going to say well how much did you use so I'm thinking you know you can always add but you can't take away so I'm going to start with a quarter cup because this bottle isn't very big I should have got the big one so I'm going to start with a quarter cup and if I need more I'll add more but you can, I can bet you guys that when we eat this, Eden is going to add either the sweet heat or the raspberry flame to it. Oh, I don't know how he did this, but it smells like teriyaki sauce. It tastes like teriyaki sauce. Yum. It's so good. So I'm going to have to get more. I'm going to have to use the rest of the bottle. So I would have liked to have probably used a half a cup, but I only had three-eighths of a cup. And then so we'll make it do. So you know what I'll do? I will add the sweet heat because I know you, Eden, <laughs> and Eden likes everything spicy. So it's a total of half a cup of vinegar, but because I ran out of the teriyaki, 
I did I did an eighth of a cup of the sweet heat and three eighths of the teriyaki. So there we go. I'll plate this up. Oh, you know what I'll do before I plate it up? I'll, I want to add a little bit of green, as I promised. I'm just going to lower the heat now. And I love these little herb scissors. Again, even if you don't have trigger thumb, they're the best. So how about a little bit of cilantro? Mm. Turning the oven completely off now. And I'll tell you, it's delicious. It's just a wonderful flavor. Now, if you expect it to taste salty like soy sauce, then don't get, don't, it won't. That's not what we're going for, but we're going for just a really terrific kind of Asian flavor that's really been a missing for those of us that avoid salt. Mm -mm -mm. So, oh boy. Oh, some green onion. Oh, well, we don't need green onion because we have the big, the big sweet onion. So let's just add a little bit of cilantro because we've got to have a little green in here. And I know it's going to, do you want to taste it on the air or you're not Kenny? You don't want to eat on the air, but no. I'd love to know if to love you to tell people if you really liked it. If you want to taste it, but not show yourself, just sure. to see if it's good. Okay, so let me just stir this in. Look how beautiful this is. It took really Yum. no time to make it all, and it was made with really all leftovers, just stuff that I had on my shelf or in my house. Guilt-free fried rice that's not fried. Absolutely unfried, and guilt-free teriyaki sauce now that doesn't have salt. So let me get a little plate for you, and see if you like it. Oh boy. And again, you can add more vegetables. So here we go. Look at this. Mm, I cannot wait to eat this. Mm. Yummy, yummy, yummy from my tummy, tummy, tummy. And, uh, you know, decorate the plate with a little bit of sweet heat just on the bottom. Look at that. Oh, baby. She, I know she's going to like it. So, guys, if you want to order, the website is www.CaliforniaBalsamic. Thomas is the owner. He's very nice. And I said, he you put in the comment box when you order Chef AJ, and you can pick two free samples of the vinegar for other flavors you want to try. But if I recommend, well, all these were delicious, but I'm really, uh, the sweet heat and the teriyaki were extraordinary. So, thanks again for watching, and I'm Chef AJ. And I make healthy taste delicious. Oh, wait, you're going to taste this on the air? Yeah. Hold on. Don't, I'm not signing off until Eden tastes it. I'll mm -hmm. hold it. I won't hold it on you. I'll hold it on this. Okay. There we go. See if there's a, Sharon says it sounds amazing. Kenny, so, oh, I'm hearing some. He said I could eat the whole thing. You're right. I could. Uh, Kenny, if Kenny's watching, he could come over. Nope. Is it good? Mmm. Too hot? Is it delicious? So good. Uh, Eden says it's good. Thanks so much for watching. I don't know. Did you notice if Thomas was on the line answering questions? I'm, I didn't see it. Okay. Well, if he isn't, he's really nice and he answers his phone. So take care, everybody. And if you celebrate the Jewish holidays, healthy, happy Jewish New Year. I'm going to True North for Yom Kippur. But you know, True North, it's Yom Kippur every day. Oh, rinse my hands with cold water. Too late, Kelly. I didn't see the comment. Bye, everybody. Happy New Year.